Hey guys, Silent Seattle here. Welcome to a very first episode of something that I've been planning to do for a very long time and that is plastic model reviews. As you can probably tell from the thumbnail already, we are here to review the Pokemon uh, Plamo Collection Quick Series. Um, and this one is for Pochama, which is Piplup, which is also my favourite Pokemon because I love penguins. And yes, Piplup is just adorable. So as you can tell from this, um, it's not a very big plastic model box. Um, and yeah, it's actually for kids. <laughs> yeah, as you can tell from here, this is actually from Bandai. Uh, you know, and it's for the kids. And it says here on the box itself that it's actually for six years old and above. So if you guys are kids at heart, and of course are Pokemon fans, definitely um, take a look at this series for yourself. And let's dive into building this plastic model and reviewing it to see if it's actually worth the money. And of course, worth your time and effort, or maybe even a Christmas gift. Uh, of sorts or even birthday gifts you know whatever kind of gifts that you know you're looking to pick up for your loved ones um, be it a kid or a kid at heart so here is the box itself so let's take a look at the descriptions on the box and of course you can tell straight away this is actually for six years old and above and you don't really need to use pliers as you can tell from the description here no glue or paint is required and there are only 12 parts in this whole entire plastic model series um, for Piplup so yeah so snap by hand fit it in finish simple as that uh, very very convenient enjoyable way of um, you know teaching children how to play with plastic models um, so yeah that's that's one of the fun things about this and of course take a look at the um, the description here all right simple as that of course if you're looking for other Pokemon within the series itself you can go check out um, the website for Bandai Hobby Kids so yeah, then I think there is actually an English version on the website as well, but I'm not too sure if this plastic model series is available on the English site. After all, um, this was never promoted on any of the English, um, you know, retailers in my country. As you can tell, it's only for sale in Japan. Um, so yeah, you. I mean, after all, you can actually get all these plastic models from various retailers in Japan. They do ship interna internationally. So yeah, if you're big fans of it, definitely go pick yourself up a Piplup or maybe a Pikachu. I don't know which other Pokemon that are um, also available with this series. And here we have one big gigantic bag of all the 12 parts and of course the two runners um, for the plastic model series. And of course, the inside of the box is actually instructions um, on how to build Piplup. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. <laughs> Alright, so let's take a look at the runners itself. Okay, so here we have the runners and the sticker included in the entire set. As you can tell, there's only two runners, as I said earlier. And of course, the material seems to be a very hard, um, semi-glossy plastic. Um, and yeah, it's a lot better in terms of quality as to all the plastic models that I'm used to and considering that I've not built uh, any Plamo for a very long time, uh, the, the quality in terms of plastic models have definitely improved in the years that I'm so used to. Um, these are pretty solid as well and yeah, they they seem very good in quality for the price that is actually worth. Um, and you know, any any kid or any parent will be uh, very happy with the condition and the quality of the runners and of course the um, glossy sticker that you know is used for Piplot's eyes, uh, Pochama if you guys are Japanese. And of course, you know, everything here within the budget of maybe about seven to eight US dollars <laughs> it's definitely worth the money so if you guys are interested to go pick one up for yourself it doesn't have to be good luck can be any Pokemon within the quick series of this uh, Pokemon Plamo collection you guys will definitely enjoy yourself so I'm gonna go ahead and fix this up very quickly now um, then we'll talk about the final end product of the plastic model itself
Okay, so we've completed building Pip Blub itself. It is a very quick and easy build. Um, it is a very sturdy plastic model. Um, definitely the body is detachable, you know, and you know, just just so that maybe if you want to keep it away, maybe um, you know, you can easily put it away, you know, bubble wrapping it after that to protect the plastic model itself. The stickers, um, I do worry that eventually the glue might run out. So eventually if you want to protect the stickers, um, you might want to overlay a bit of a protection fluid, you know, and all the stuff that you plumbers Plumbo builders are usually used to. Uh, of course, for kids, maybe they might want to reapply the glue and all that kind of stuff. But the legs are a bit worrying as well because they are tiny pieces and of course, because they are plastic models and they are easily removable. Um, although it is firm in its place, of course, without shaking and all that. But of course, if it drops from a high place, it might shatter um, and of course, popping out and maybe eventually breaking um, some of the joint portions as well. So yeah, but for something this cheap, um, it is pretty well built. <laughs> Considering that the parts actually don't need to be painted, um, this is actually pretty well designed um, in terms of the color coordination for each of the plastic pieces uh, to build the entire outlook of Piplup later on. Um, so yeah, that's pretty fantastic. Um, one other concern is if you can take a look at the head. Um, so yeah, it says that even though um, it is snapped by hand and it's easy to build, uh, of course for those plastic modelers who are a bit more fussy when it comes to you know this kind of shaving portions not being fouled and all that kind of stuff, you might want to do it on your own accord. Um, you know, sanding, sanding and filing away to make it smoother and all that kind of stuff. But you know, for me personally, um, I'm I'm a bit fussy on my own end, uh, so I might end up touching up the pip plug later on. Um, but for those of you who are intending to get this um, plastic model set for yourself or any of the other, other Pokemon within the collection itself, you might want to take heat on that. Even though it is snapped by hand and easy to build for children six and up, for those who of you who are um, kind of like semi-professional plastic modelers or you know even professional modelers yourself you might want to do this on a more uh, thorough situation for your own personal collection but overall this plastic model itself I definitely recommend to anyone who is a kid or a Pokemon fan at heart definitely worth um, the seven to eight US dollars um, you know purchasing this plastic particular um, plastic model itself so yeah what do you guys think of the uh, Pokemon Plamo collection quick Pochama um, build you know if you personally enjoy um, penguins or pit blood <laughs> or any of the other Pokemon within this whole lineup if you yourself have actually got one for yourself before uh, watching this video let me know your thoughts on the plastic model itself and of course if you guys enjoyed this first ever plastic model review um, you know let me know your thoughts as well in the comment section down below and as usual like share subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next plastic model review series uh, sometime soon hopefully I'm still trying to get my hands on a decent beginner set of pliers <laughs> I don't have one because I've always been using um, my trusty handed hand knife here to kind of file away or cut off the pieces from the runners itself um, I, I've never really done filing or sanding anything, anything like that I'm really really a basic plastic model builder <laughs> So yeah, eventually when I get my own set of pliers and all that kind of stuff, uh, I'll probably do more detailed plastic models in the future. So for now, this is just a trial run video test, you know, of this series. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts in, down below if you want to see more and I'll review something else really soon. Bye!